So, the Penguins' injuries are finally catching up to them. A third of their team is still injured, and they lost last night 5-1 at the hands of the Chicago Blackhawks, who look like the Chicago Blackhawks of old. I don't know who spiked their team, but they are playing super well. And uh, the Penguins are not, unfortunately, because their defense is so injured. They're missing Latang, uh, Mata, Daly, Hainsey, four of the top six defensemen, all gone. Uh, Latang's been out for a long time. Malkin's still out. Hagelin's still out. Gensel's still out. Crosby's line mates um, are no longer there. Their lineup has been decimated, even though Hornquist and Rust have come back. Rust has not looked great, but he did score last night. Um, but good news could be coming. Gensel and um, Hainsey could be coming back for the next game, which is huge, especially since Gensel had a concussion, and you never know with these things. It looks pretty bad. Hagelin, it looks like he might miss the start of the playoffs. I think he's still a walking cast at this point. Matt is probably not going to be ready for a while. He's not taking contact. Latang should be ready for the start of the playoffs, but again, we don't really know even what his injury is. They're keeping it very hush-hush. I'm not sure if he's even taking contact. Malkin, again, was supposed to be short-term injury. It's now going on six, seven games, so clearly uh, not as short-term as we thought. We know Cullen's even playing a little bit sick. Uh, probably uh, other people banged up right now, but, you know, finally w w the team is, you're seeing you're seeing their, their depth and really being challenged. And one thing that I really praise about this team is that they're playing so well despite all these injuries, despite missing all these guys. Depth guys really stepped it up, but... You know, now we're seeing them take a hit. Um, it's basically their AHL team, and you're not going to beat anyone with that team. You know, there's only so much Crosby can do because he's got no one else right now. Um, Castle, you know, he's got Castle. Castle's in a bit of a slump, but Castle's also always playing with different line mates. You know, Benino's cooled off. Uh, he was turning on at the end of the season, but he's kind of cooled off lately again, probably because he doesn't have his his usual line mates either. So, you know, to ripple that effect, it affects everyone. Luckily, the AHL team is still killing it, mostly due to Tristan Jury and Zach Aston Reese, who's got like six points in four games since signing with Pittsburgh. So he's been great. Um, but, you know, the, the big boys are not doing so well. Oscar Sundquist has had no points in eight games, so that's not ideal. So he's he's a very poor man's Jordan Stahl. He's not going to get you a lot of points, but I think he can be solid defensively. I think he should fill in nicely next year. And, you know, the Penguins are actually lucky that they held out as long as they did despite all those injuries. And I think a big reason for that is Brian Dumoulin. He's been lights out this season. Mark Straits really played well since coming up, too. He's since coming over in trade. He's really looked good on the power play. But you can't expect to win many games if you have Rudy Wall and Cameron Gomps, you know, in the lineup. And even when they're losing, they're still getting points until last night. So... It's actually me when they played as well as they did. They're still going to finish with like 110 plus points, which is pretty incredible considering how injury plagued they've been this season. You know, even Connor Sherry's missed a lot of time, but he's back now. Um, and he's but he's had he's got 50 points, 55 games. He's had a great year, and they're probably going to finish third in their division, which means they won't have home ice advantage. But I don't think that matters too much. I mean, you have to have those annoying cannons, but the Penguins have been a pretty good road team. Plus, they get to start off wearing those sweet home jerseys. And, you know, there's so much talk about, oh, Matt Murray's not playing well. Fleury should be the starting goalie. No. Matt Murray's been fine in March. He's had two really solid games. And he's had two not-so-solid games. But a lot of that, again, is to do the team. I mean, look at who he has playing in front of him. He's got basically Sidney Crosby and the Bad News Bears right now. He's got an AHL team in playing in front of him. It, it's in, yes, last year in the AHL or the year before, he set a record for 12 shutouts as a rookie. But, you know, he... He probably had better players playing in front of him than he does now, uh, playing in the NHL, and could have lost him in the beginning of slack, but, you know, he'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. He always bounces back super well. Uh, I'm a little bit confused as to why Fleury's playing so much, because Fleury's not been good. He was garbage again last night, garbage against Chicago last last game, and a big reason why the Penguins were losing these games is because Fleury's not been good. In the games they were winning, Murray gave them a chance despite not having players in the lineup. I guess you can make the argument that we want to save Murray for playoffs and maybe you don't want to tire him out and he has already been injured twice this season and maybe he's not fully healthy. I can see that, but, you know, these are big games coming up. These are big points. I know people say it's the exhibition season. Every game is a big game. You want you don't want to go into the playoffs losing all your games. You want to go into the playoffs coming off on a strong, strong note. You don't want to limp right in there like in 2015 because that's not at all for you. You want to try to get all your players back and build chemistry because right now the Penguins do not look like the team that, that they should be 
But when, you know, if they get everyone back when healthy, this team is as good as any team in the league, but that is a big if. So I think that you should try to win as many games before the playoffs as you can to get the bit of advantage. And they're still fighting for home ice. They can still beat Columbus for home ice, and that's huge. So, you know, there's six games left. It's not over yet. They're only two points back of Columbus. Pretty far back of Washington. Washington already got 110 points, which is crazy. Not going to catch them at this point. They've just lost too many games. Washington's really turned it on lately. But considering how injured Pittsburgh has been, if they're going to get over 110 points um, this season, uh, which is really impressive considering how injured they've been. And that's only going to be second or third in the Metro, which is nuts. That's how good the Metro is. Theoretically, the Rangers could still catch them. Unlikely, they have 97 points. I would not be opposed to that because I'd, I'd like to go over to the Atlantic. It'd be an easier seed. Um, although Montreal's playing a lot better now with uh, with Claude Julian and Carey Price, it's really turned on. But uh, Bobrovsky is also kind of scary in Columbus. But I definitely think Pittsburgh can take Columbus. I think Montreal overall is a better team than Columbus. So uh, I really look forward to beating Columbus in the playoffs if everyone is healthy. You know, that's a big if. And we have Murray and now we won't have any of his floor shenanigans from 2014. That was brutal um but you know everyone needs to come down murray's gonna be fine uh he might be a little banged up which is why flurry's playing also maybe they want to showcase him save murray for playoffs that's fine but i do think that he's trying to mike selvish and try to ice the best lineup as he can possible to try to fight for home ice because that could make an advantage but it might not the penguins didn't have home ice for a lot of it last year and they won the cup so you never know i mean home ice could be helpful could not mean anything but I don't know. I, I would still treat every game as important because, you know, you definitely, it's definitely good to have confidence going into the playoffs. You don't want just limp in there and treat it like an exhibition season because, I mean, I guess it is, but you also want to make sure you're playing the right way, whatever that means, before you're going into playoffs. A lot of that includes players coming back. So hopefully they get players back from injuries. It looks like we could get the guys coming back this week. The good thing is, or I, that, you know, they're – they're playing teams that they could beat, but I guess, you know, you can beat every team. However, the bad thing is they're good, playing good teams. Like, you got the Rangers coming up. You have Toronto coming up, who's feisty. They're trying to get into a playoff spot. That's the second last game. You've got Columbus again one more time, which could be a matchup of an epic series. So, you know, it's not like they're playing gimme, gimme teams. Every team's going to be fighting. Every You're not playing any superstar teams, but you're kind of playing teams in the playoffs or on the bubble of playoffs. Um, you know, and Toronto's not going to be an, an easy game, and that's going to be... It'll be interesting to see if they're already in playoffs at that point or not, um, if the Penguins rest anybody. So we'll see. But everyone needs to calm down about Murray. He's going to be fine. He's had an outstanding season. You know, he wasn't going to repeat his 930 save percentage from last year. He only played 13 games. So obviously that was going to go down with an increased sample size. Uh, he's played 42 games, would have played more if he's not injured. And he's already, he's at like a 923, which is excellent. He's only 22. He's 23. He's only going to get better. He's not even in his prime. Is it 923 save percentage? pretty incredible and he's had a couple of bad games lately but that's a lot due to the team could also be fatigue maybe he's not fully healthy maybe they Mike Sullivan wants to dress him for playoffs we don't know but Matt Murray is going to be fine he bounces back really well he was incredible in the playoffs last year no reason why he shouldn't begin this year uh, now he's got one more year of experience so I'm really not worried about his performance at all um, but uh, I'm more worried about the team getting healthy because it seems like literally every game someone's going down to injury. And sometimes they come back quickly, like Connor Sheary. Sometimes they're out longer, like Chris Tang's on his 16 games. Or Matt's on his 16 games. Trevor Daly's on his, you know, 15, 16 games. So they've been out for a month, over a month. So, you know, I, I'd much rather see the team get healthy um, than worry about who's in that, who's winning games. Um, and especially, you know, you don't want to have all the pressure on Crosby. I would have been nice to see him get the Ross because he was so close, especially since he missed six games. But it looks like McDavid's going to win it now. He's too far ahead, which is super unfortunate. But Crosby can still win the Rocker Richard as he's got 42 goals. And the next player, I think, has 38, 39. Uh, but, you know, players catching up. So he's got he's to keep it up. I want him to win. Uh, he might not win the heart either. You know, McDavid could win the heart or Bobrovsky could win the heart because Bobrovsky's been ridiculous. I didn't realize how good he's been, but he's got better numbers than Carey Price did when Carey won the heart and the Vesna. So, you know. That's something to keep an eye on for sure. Murray's also in the conversation for the Calder. People forget that he's still eligible, considering he won the cup last season. But he's still in there. I would not give it to Matt Murray. I think that Lionel and Matthews have been too good. But he would definitely be my third rookie, my third choice. And then Lionel and Matthew, you can kind of flip a coin. 
All right, well, that's all I have for this video. Please like if you like, subscribe if you really like it, share with all your friends, tell everybody what did you think of the game, what do you think of the Penguins' injuries, do you think that they're holding out in something, and uh, let me know. All right, that's all for now. Bye.